here we are. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? Hey, graves are back that way. to come back here. Yeah, that makes two of us. We don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids.
house right next to the cemetery. Hard to think of a worse idea than that. Well, look at Michael. Some people actually go to cemeteries willingly. People with functional families, I guess. Yeah, you let me know if you ever meet one of those. <laughs> well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered everyone? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. This might take a while. No dice. Look. There's Michael. This might take a while. De Leon. That's the one. Don't tell me we missed her. Mr. Eagle? Kids. It's time. Exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinkett Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed 
never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. So what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. No, I'm promising that. Fortune favors the bold, goes double for food. Talk to you later. You bet. She's always been jealous because I got the looks. Yeah, but I got the brains, so. Oh man, you two are such a pair. Anyway, girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Gina's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God, boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't hurt to check. 